you imagine is you're looking out a mill window. You're looking out the mill windows and you're observing the mill town and all the activities and the people that, that are here. And in doing that, first though, I want you to consider these two pictures. This picture was taken in 1912 of a mill girl by Lewis Hine, who was a, sent down here as part of a movement against child labor. So he went into the mill areas and he would find the saddest pictures he could of children and take pictures of them. For instance, this little single girl looking forlornly out the window as if she, you know, she's a prisoner. The truth is the picture itself was composed. You would never find a little girl by herself anywhere or anybody else by themselves. <laughs> it was a very crowded mill village. And then you got a picture here of this young girl. This, she's a coat girl. It's no accident that she had her picture taken with a mill behind her because if you look at her work apron, she's very proud that she is actually sending that home to her relatives in the country saying, you see, I'm doing better. I'm, I've got, I'm, I'm moved up in society. And that's the true face of Southern Cotton Mill folk. And when you look at these pictures, you see people enjoying themselves. You see people on boats. You see people uh, wearing fancy hats. You see them at the swimming, the rock pond at the, at the river where they swam. And the river was the place where everybody went on Sunday afternoons. Picnics, baptisms, and swimming. When people came to paint the mill houses, the outside crew, inside and out every three or four years, the women would say, come on over here. I've got, I need some extra paint because I want to paint some coffee cans for my flowers. People really did treat these mill houses as their home places, even though they were warehouses.